first sit down video of 2016 with a Duncan and the last. What's up guys, my name is Noah and welcome to my channel. So today I thought it'd be fun to recap my crazy life through 2016. Today I wanted to go through a bunch of different pictures to show you guys more into my life and how my year played out before YouTube even came into play. Also, don't mind this frog. It used to be on my bed, but I moved my bed and I didn't have room for him anymore. So now he's just sitting back here with me. So, I just want to kind of go month by month-ish just to give you guys a little bit of insight and a personal reflection for myself. Just so I can look back on this and see how my year changed from this year to maybe next. So starting in January, I had an amazing New Year's slash christmas -y party with my friends that coincidentally we're doing again tonight. It is New Year's Eve, so I'll be heading out tonight with the same people, um, even some new members and some old, just to hang out and have a good time and celebrate the new year together. So in the middle of January towards the end, I went to the zoo with my best friend Caitlin and it was the best time of my life <laughs> and it was just so funny so I want to recap and tell this funny story because it definitely kept stayed with me throughout the year so as we were walking into the zoo I was gonna pay for myself it was only like $12 it wasn't even that big of a deal and I was gonna pay for myself and then my friend Caitlin's family said that they were gonna pay for me so I was like oh no you don't have to like I will and then once I got up there <laughs> They didn't pay for me, but I thought that they were going to after they said that, and I didn't pay, and <laughs> I just walked right past. <laughs> and I just got into the zoo for free, and no one's laughing, and I'm really stupid, but like, you had to have been there. So through February, I wanted to try um, nah, relationships or something like that, and I tried, I um, did some, you know, I had some friends, but nothing really went worked anyway. Um, it was going okay for a while, but it started to fall apart, so I just kind of didn't really care anymore. But I just wanted to live on with my month and see how things would go. So towards the end of February, I headed down to West Virginia University with my choir, and we participated in a festival working with the famous composer Eric Whitaker. And no one probably knows who I'm talking about, but he is literally amazing. His choir music is to die for. He's like the best out there, one of the best out there at this time. And we got to meet him and work with him and sing two songs of his on stage and it was like a mass choir so there were 600 of us here's a picture and that was an amazing experience that I think about all the time and I would not like I could not see myself not going and I'm so thankful that I did because it was life-changing so March opened up a lot of opportunities for me I um that was when we were just getting to the best part of our musical season that I was in I participated in 42nd Street with my school and um, that was like the time when we were actually getting on stage and getting to play around with the acting and having fun with it and it was definitely the best thing that I've ever participated in and, and I'll talk about that later. So in March I got a puppy, um, her name is Piper, she's a chocolate lab and she's insane but I got her in March um, as a newborn but also in that month I just wanted to point out that I got a haircut and obviously like I get haircuts at least every month but for once, I got this part in my hair, and I never had that before, but March was the month that I did that, and um, I definitely love it, and it's stuck with me now, and it's kind of, not like my thing, because a bunch of people do it, but it's something that makes me, me, and I really like to keep that going, so every time I go get a haircut, I always go to the same person and do the same exact style, but it just looks cooler and cooler every time. So in April was the month of our opening night for 42nd Street and that was the best experience of my life. I got to play a piano player, which is a coincidence because that's what I, like I play piano, so I got to play a rehearsal pianist on stage, but I also danced a lot and I sang a lot, I had a solo, um, and my acting, I didn't have any lines speaking, but I got to take my acting facials and movement into play and play around with those a lot and it definitely was an amazing show and here's a bunch of pictures of me and all my friends from that show because my outfits were great and everyone's outfits we all looked so amazing and that was the best experience so far of 2016 by far. So through the month of April that participates um, all my choirs that I am in we have our concerts so I had my show choir concert and my jazz choir concert in that month and that was great we had a show choir festival with a bunch of different schools from my area. Here's some pictures of me mid-show. Okay, and here's where we get to the nitty-gritty of April. So I, <laughs> April is the worst month of my life by far, and I'll tell you why. So right after 42nd Street and stuff ended up, I was just chilling on Instagram, and I was like, this person's attractive, I'm gonna message them. So I did, and we like connected, but then we fell apart again, but then we connected again, and then we fell apart again, and it was a whole mess for that month, and I wanted to cry every single day of my life. 
Um, and towards the end of the month, I took my show choir and jazz choir trip. We went to Cleveland, Ohio, participated in a competition, clean swept the whole entire thing. So that was an amazing memory, and here's some pictures from that whole trip. We went on a cruise, we went to the Science Center, we went to museums, and of course we sang a lot and had an amazing time. Um, and right after that trip finished up, I connected again with that person. I'm not going to say names, and I'm not going to show pictures because that will hashtag trigger me. So we're not gonna do that. I met with that person and May we started hanging out. So like I met their family and a bunch of their friends and that was an amazing run of whatever you wanna call it. Um, things weren't official yet, but definitely having that person that would always be there and hang out with me and you know care for me and stuff was awesome. And that definitely was a highlight of my year even though things didn't go too well in a few months. <laughs> so now that we're in May, I started to be with that person even more and um, the best day ever I'm gonna point this out May 19th was the best day of my life not like all around like how I said 42nd Street was the best moment of 2016 but May 19th 2016 is a day that will go down in history first I got my break. second Ariana's album Dangerous Woman came out that night at midnight and third, my chorus concert was that day. So our spring choir concerts are like hours long, but they're the best experience because that's when the seniors get recognized and we sing so much. And I was in it the whole time because I'm in all choirs. Like every choir that participates in that concert, I was in. So I got to be in the concert the whole entire time. And that was an amazing experience. So that night was just full packed of amazingness and that special person that I um, was there. So that was awesome and that made me like really happy and that night was great. Towards the end of May I went to Erie with my mom and our family and we went up to uh, Erie Pennsylvania for camp like a little camp trip. We didn't camp but we have like a camper RV thing. We hang out up there and we swim and they have like a little playground and we have friends up there too. Surprisingly the people that own the campground were friends with them. So that trip to Erie was so much fun. We did a bunch of stuff and after that I came back to school and it was around May 30th and that was my seniors last day. I mean I'm not a senior I was a sophomore at the time, but my seniors that I became best friends with had their last day of school before graduation. And that was the saddest day of life, and here's a picture of me and my three senior best friends in the whole entire world. I'm looking at it right now because I have it up on a um, bulletin board. So June wasn't that big of exciting of a month. I hung out with my senior friends that were leaving a lot. Um, I went to a bunch of different graduation parties for everyone throughout the whole summer, but June mainly I went to like three or four. Um, and my best friend Caitlin finally had her grad party at the end of the month and that was awesome. I had so much fun. I spent the whole day there. It was so hot. Um, and actually before any of that happened, my relationship thingy that I was in became official um, in the beginning of June, middle of June. And that went on for a while until July. So for July, that person was leaving and they were going off to college for a little like academy thing for just that month. They were gonna be back in August, but then leave again for school up in the fall. So um, things became official, like I said, in the middle of June. And then mid-July, things weren't going well anymore. It was less than a month um, officially, but it wasn't that clean of a breakup. Um, I'm not going to get into detail because I don't want to. Once again, hashtag triggered, but um, it definitely wasn't something that I saw coming in the feet, like at the time. I was like listening to sad music and all this crazy stuff. And so I did Stone Cold because I found that song and I was like, wow, this is like my life and a song and it's really good and I want to try singing it. So then I did and like it took me a while to get it really good. So I practiced it and then I was like, wait, this is like kind of not sucky. So I posted it and that's how my YouTube thing started because of a breakup. So it did help even though like the song wasn't my own. It's still really, I could relate to it and it applied to my life at the time. Right now I'm better off obviously and that video is just for fun, but at the time it really was meaningful and I'm so glad that I put it out there to get me started and I feel like it was a great way to open up my YouTube channel. Um, through July I had my show choir camp, which means we prepare for the spring show that is upcoming this spring 2017. We learned it in the, pa in the previous summer. So we learned the show and I was picked for dance captain. There's four of us. Here's a picture of all four of us and also of my show choir and um, me and the other three 
team members. We make up dances and we have a great time and we're also close to friends and I love them so much and that's definitely a highlight of my day every single day going into school. So in August, once again, school was coming up so like I was back to school shopping and getting my stuff ready. I started making those like videos applying back to school. August was definitely my big YouTube month. I was just focusing and focusing and focusing on that. I also got my permit in August on my birthday. I turned 16 August 14th and I got my learner's permit so I drive now. I don't have my license yet. I have to wait till February but um, I do have my permit and I drive like all the time so. September was when my junior year started and it's horrible and it's very difficult and I want to drop out every two seconds but I'm going to get through it. This is the hardest part now like and I'm terrified I have to take my SATs and a bunch of scary things coming up so I'm scared for that but I think I'll be okay. Um, also, the, I participated in my school's fall drama. I auditioned, but right after my audition, I went to a job interview for Dairy Queen and I got the job on the spot. So I work there now and I've been there for a few months and I love it so much and everyone there is so welcoming and sweet and uh, nothing really, I'm like, I guess I'm just an all around nice person so I don't have to worry about bad things coming my way, but it was so much fun and um, I love my job and I love September, that was such a good month um, to open up everything for the school year. I went to homecoming for my junior year and that was my second homecoming because I went my freshman year and I hated it, but this year it was so much fun and I regret not going the past years, but I have so many more friends this year and I'm so glad that I got to spend it with them. Um, here's a picture of my outfit. I made that get ready with me for homecoming, so I think you guys knew about that already, but here's some HD pics that I never really posted. So in October, I just wanted to post this quick picture. We snuck behind our choir teacher's back and we made show choir t-shirts. We've been asking her for the past year after year after year to make them and we never got them. She's just been so busy so we decided to step up and make them and we all almost cracked a few times but it worked out so well and she was so happy and here's the end product of all of us and through October I started participating in choir festivals um, and I got like a, a little sash metal thing for my choir robe um, it like pins on and that was just exciting because I've always wanted one and um, I'm hoping to get more in the future for my senior year and that was so much fun. I got to sing in an all-guys choir for the first time ever. We sang about like five or six songs and that was just so cool because I've never done that before and we sounded real good. <laughs> November was the same. I participated in another festival um, but it was boys and girls mixed but that one was definitely way more fun because I do like singing with more people and we were, even though we weren't prepared, we sounded so good. We learned the music in like a day and then we performed the next night for our concert and it was so much fun, like it was so much fun and I'm so sad that I don't do these more often. I never really liked them because I thought they were so long but since all my friends were there, I was like I might as well do it and it was so much fun so I'm so glad that that all worked. And in November we opened up our school production of Our Town and that was a play that we did um, and it was boring and none of us really liked it but the ending product was amazing. And December has been crazy and crazy and crazy, um, going back and forth from work to rehearsals to performances. We had our winter choir concert this past month. We did a bunch, a bunch of different community performances for our area. And on top of that, we did um, a bunch of different we sang at a retirement home and a senior care center. We sang at the YMCA. We sang at a fire hall. We did a little um, Jingle Bell Rock concert for our firemen. And we did a bunch of stuff to help raise money and to help support the arts. And that was, it's always my favorite thing to do and I love to entertain and perform for everybody. And it's just something that always puts a smile on my face. Um, I've been sick this path, past month. I've had allergies or a cold or something. I was hoping to not get it and I went, lasted pretty well, like a long time. I got it about a week before Christmas, so I still kind of have it now, but I'm getting a little bit better. Um, auditions for our school musical have started as this past month. We are doing The Little Mermaid, and I was casted as Grimsby, which is Prince Eric's butler, assistant, whatever. I don't really know the technical, the correct term for it, but that is what I am. I play him, and I'm so excited because that was my second choice on my sheet, and I'm so excited for this cast, and it's going to be one of the best shows that my school has ever done. Overall, I have made an incredible quote-unquote debut through 2016. I have opened myself up and really learned to come into my own skin. Leaving 2015 on a not-so-amazing note was something I thought I wasn't going to be able to overcome, and that it wasn't going to be fixed, but in the long run, it was. Through time, things got better, then worse, then better, then worse again, but it never stayed that bad forever. I have so many amazing friends, new and old, that would go out of their way to do anything for me. And I have you guys. I have gained so much confidence in the past five months. I have learned so much about technology and the general public and was able to focus on something that I really love, entertaining. 
I couldn't be more thankful for where I am in my life and how many people I have behind me to support me. You guys are all my family and I love you so much. With that said, my social media links are down below and you can subscribe if you like. Until next time, see you in 2017.